Hey, my babies, it's your girl, Christina, naturally Nola, back today with another cooking video, okay? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make home-style red beans and rice in what? Yes, that's right, a crock pot. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make these red beans and rice inside of the crock pot are what you see here. First, I'm going to start off with some minced garlic. Oh my God, this brings so much power and flavor to your red beans. I'm also going to be using two different types of smoked sausage. I'm using this Cajun style and Dooley smoked sausage. And I'm also using another pack of this Hillshire Farm smoked sausage, just the original. Next, I have one green bell pepper. I wish it was a little bigger, but hey, my hubby went to the store for me and I can't complain. I also do have one whole onion that I'm going to chop. Now when you chop this up, it does not have to be super fine because it will cook down in the red beans. Next, I'm going to be using the Tony Satris, my Holy Grail, the original Creole seasoning for my red beans. Okay, next what I have is some garlic powder. I ended up not using this because I do have some minced garlic that my hubby got from the store. Okay, so the final ingredient that I'm going to be using for my seasonings will be this McCormick bay leaves. I'm going to be using two to three bay leaves to add into my crock pot so I can add some more flavor, baby. Oh yeah, baby, what am I doing? I forgot to show y'all the start of the show. These are the brand of red beans that I'm using, the Camilla red beans. You can find these at any of your local grocery stores, I'm sure. I particularly bought these from Walmart. So what I like to do with my red beans, I like to soak them overnight just to go ahead and prepare my red beans for the crock pot. By allowing them to soak overnight, you allow them to absorb some of the water. You allow them to break apart and just get ready for the whole long cook down process. Okay, my babies, I'm back. So here are the red beans that I soaked overnight. As you can see, they are totally different from what they looked like before they started to soak. They got a little bigger, they started to spread apart, and they are definitely ready to get inside of my crock pot, oh yeah. Now I'm just gonna add six to seven cups of this red bean water that was soaking overnight inside of my crock pot. Okay, so here is how it should look inside of the crock pot. Once you have the six to seven cups, I use seven for these beans inside of my crock pot. And now I'm going to go ahead and set my crock pot to low because I'm going to let this cook for eight hours. Now hold up, y'all thought we was done? Not yet, baby. Remember all those seasonings that I cut up? Oh yes, now it's time to add those to the pot. So this is my one cut up bell pepper and my one cut up onion that I'm gonna go ahead and add into my crock pot. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this a good stir to go ahead and mix up those ingredients before I go ahead and add the rest of the seasoning. And like I said, you might see some big pieces of bell peppers and some big pieces of onions. But I'm telling you, don't stress about it, baby. This will cook down in the red beans and you won't even notice these big pieces. I promise. Okay, my babies. Now that I have my bell peppers and onions that were chopped up inside of the crock pot, these are the rest of the ingredients that I'm going to add into my crock pot. And I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of each item to the crock pot to add some more flavor. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of minced garlic, black pepper, and Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm also going to be adding two bay leaves to the crock pot as well. I'm not going to be using the garlic powder that you see over to my far right because my hubby ran out and got some mixed garlic which I preferred over the garlic powder. Now let's get it. Okay, so this is one tablespoon of minced garlic. 
Now I'm gonna put one tablespoon of black pepper. And also one tablespoon of the Tony Saturance Creole seasoning. And I don't wanna waste no seasoning, so let me go ahead and stir this up in here so I can get the rest of the seasoning off of this, okay? Okay, so now that I have all of my seasoning inside of the pot, I'm going to go ahead and stir that around. I added only one tablespoon so far because I don't want to overpower my red beans by putting too much seasoning because I can always add to it. But if I put too much in the beginning and have it too salty, baby, that's not going to be a good thing. So I only added one tablespoon so far. And as my red beans cook, if I do need to add a little bit more seasoning, I can do that as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and add two of these bay leaves inside of my pot. And the bay leaves that I have are kind of small, so I'm going to go ahead and just use three of them. Okay, so now I'm just doing one final stir to mix up all of the ingredients before I put the lid on. I did cut up some smoked sausage as well, but I don't like to cook my smoked sausage the whole eight hours because it doesn't take that long for it to cook. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for about five hours. And at the five hour mark is where I'm gonna go ahead and add the smoked sausages to my pot. Okay, so my crock pot is now on low. Beans are inside. As you can see, it's already starting to smoke from the heat from the crock pot. But like I said, the smoked sausage that I cut up, I got it sitting in the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and put that inside of the crock pot at the 5 hour mark so my smoked sausage can cook from that point on. So I'll be back. Okay guys, so it has been about 4, 4 and a half hours. I know I said I was going to wait to put the sausage in at the 5 hour mark, but I do have to run some errands and leave the house. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to put my meat in the crock pot now. So let me show you how the red beans are looking so far. Sorry about that. It's a lot of smoke. So let me go ahead and stir this around. It smells so, so good, guys. I wish that you all were here to smell these beans. Oh, baby. They are smelling delicious. Okay, so here is the meat that I have cut up. Like I said, I use two different kinds of meat. I use the regular small sausage. And I also use the Cajun style and Dooley sausage. So I'm going to add this meat into my crock pot. back in the crock pot it goes and now the next time you see these red beans it will be the finished product so I'm gonna go ahead and set this for another four and a half hours and we will be done okay my babies after eight long hours this is the finished product look at these creamy red beans that's full of meat This food smells so good. Baby, if you was here, you will be grabbing a bowl right now, okay? Okay, my baby, and this is the end of the video. Now, keep in mind that these beans right here are day one beans. So, they are kind of loose. They are a little thick. But, as they sit overnight, all the flavor and everything will go ahead and mix in together well. And it will really thicken up. So day two beans will be even better baby.
Also, welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you hit that subscribe button on the way in, thank you, my baby. But if not, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Until next time, my loves, stay tuned.